is not like just completely run over in the lane against the Dawnbreaker Shadow Shaman. It's for me kind of like the tower it. shot. They have the trap vision. Oh, he might Carl. just be dead on Carl. Uh, that's going to be the body blocks here. And another slow from the Satyr Tormentor. And now the Harpy Creep with the... This is lightning coming out. Is it going to be enough damage? The heavenly jump is just so much, but he's just slowed. And the shackles oh and the rotations here from the supports. Oh, netting but... the kill hey, Oh, this is a little bit too far there. He is, uh, he, he is very far. This is very, very far. That's going to be the sounds going to hit. Asta, however, already pretty low. That's going to be the shackles. And we're going to have an easy kill for Asta. Sh Shadow Shaman without Yeah, Carl coming in. Yes, oh, there's no. a haste on haste the, rune on the TA. On the TA. Uh oh, Gabby. Yeah, it's going to be the ultimate from the Dawnbreaker as well, but st stopped by Cuckoo there. A nice stun onto two of them with the Zeus ultimate over the top. Not going oh, to be enough to man kill on anybody Carl. else. Carl. Ooh. Ooh, the TA still looking strong. Looking to dive the tower here. The Hex coming out. And the Shackles, however, Raging Potato now here with the Exorcism. At least turns this around onto Carlo, but is Chris, Chris out? Oh, he's out. Chris is just out. Really heads up from TNC, just walking in and to, starting to contest these stacks. Mm -hmm. Not letting Gabby get away with just complete with free farming, though. Mavis. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, he's got the pig <laughs> Oh, not the yeah. and, and this is the this is the benefit of Chen. You you break the Lincolns, you get the penitents with the serpent wards. That is a dead Roche. Holy. This is dying very, very fast. That is without the desolator. They're going to try and trade this on T1 with the Exorcism. Are they strong enough to fight is going to be the question. They're 3,000 gold behind the right now. The true benefit of this hero is the ability to just sit in this bottom area for pretty much as long as you want. That's going to be the five-man smoke now from the Dire, but they walk into the Chen. That is not the hero they wanted. And is Mavis, he even dead? He, he gets the Hand of God off. He survives a long time. That was a lot of pressure. And now they're going to find at least a counter kill onto the Nyx Assassin. That's going to be the Chaotic Offering onto two of them. But they're looking now towards Gabby. Gabby, uh-oh. Gabby is going to get controlled here. But the stun coming out onto the TA. And this is looking like a good fight now for Tier 1. They take out the Aegis. Asta already down. As Krishna trying to get away. Uh, he's going to have Refraction in two seconds. I think he might be... On? Uh, this is going to be the stun coming out. Raging Potato still has the Maybe not. running. Right, I take it back. Yeah, yeah no, so he dead. is not <laughs> fine anymore. And okay, Tier 1 just walked on up and <laughs> killed. Great Didn't, don't know what guides on, but I, I appreciate that comment. Mm -hmm. It made you laugh. As Cuckoo is going to get found here. Yeah, he, uh, he is extremely dead. Yeah. <laughs> nice find there. The blink on Carlo once again. Trying to trade this, but Carl is here. Oh, Asta's got to be really careful. Yeah, they're going to hurricane him, him out. Cuckoo still, Cuckoo. On the, still on the chase. Oh, the stun him. connects onto this, onto the Bloodseeker. He has a BKB looking to turn oh, around onto Raging potato. potato. He's just going to click down and poof. There was a Death Prophet there, but That's she died because, quickly. That is the completed BKB on Asta. I don't... Did he want... Mm -hmm. As but maybe however, if they find the, 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 the find him. Fuck. Oh, yeah, you cannot TP there. He is getting caught out here. Hestel, that's going to be Chaotic Offering committed that for the That is a heavy commitment. As now, that's going to be the Rupture going on to Raging Potato. And yeah, the Dawnbreaker coming back here. And the Hand of God here. They're just not they dying the on the Radiant side. And with that DD, they're shredding through them all. Oh, Alchemist just died. Right. White Mon gets a TP away, but that was a stylish Cyblades. Off the range creep, there they go. The Penitence with the Chen. And you gotta be really quick on T1 to contest this. Alright, they are going to be he's right here. Gabby coming in with his own BKB, going straight for the Chen. He got his Asta hand of God off. In the Serpent Wards. Oh no, but he okay, did. He gets out. He get the ages though, and now they're just looking to turn this around here onto the Death Prophet, and Death Prophet is going to die. They found the kill onto the Chen, but he got the Hand of God off, 
And with that, nobody on Radiant's side else is going to die. On the Bloodseeker. This, this feels very desperate. He has Aegis on the Bloodseeker. Yeah, they're gonna still gonna go on him, trying to take down his first life. And that's gonna be the hand of God, but still first life gonna go down. At the same time, Carlo going into the backlands is gonna be dropped by the Warlock and will die. And okay. with that, the TA trying to back off, and the same for the Bloodseeker. Gonna As try Gabi, and chase on T1. That's gonna be the stun, but he will stun himself with that. Smoke. There's no BKB on the TA, but the Blood... Or no, it's, never mind, TA has his up already. Maybe he was on Arcane Rune, but they, the two big cores still have oh, it on TNC. Oh, Gabi! Gabi has been found! Gabi has been hexed! Such such a fast smoke. It's, they're just not ready on T1 and Raging Potato. No BKB still. Ooh, we'll be fine. With this, uh, like TNC up one game and looking very strong in game number two. As that's good to jump forward by Cuckoo, but yeah, they're gonna jump in on Bog with the Blood Ride going on to Cuckoo. Cuckoo is dead. And they're just gonna rupture up the DP here. Make sure they get the rain, the, the melee racks. Mm hmm. As now the BKB from Asta and just walks on into T. Bash, bash! Oh the bash. no, the bash! Uh, a bit overstays a bit too late. I mean, they're gonna look daring. to use. Yeah, they're gonna yeah. try to use this Dawnbreaker buyback. And take oh, an advantageous Gabby, fight. They do see him. That's gonna be the jump straight onto the warlock. Now with the Dawnbreak ultimate, Gabby just trying to get out of here. And will be successful at doing so. Raging Potato, the not going to be so lucky. The la Basher will work there. And Asta immediately runs into the Roshan pit. No Rosh. So, is that worth the Dawnbreaker buyback? I'm not sure. If they find Bach again, it's going to be really difficult for TNC to take fights. Yeah. Yeah, if Bach dies again, I feel like... I feel like they don't... For I feel like forcing this is weird. I feel like you need Serpent Wards, most likely. Yeah. And they are all ultimates up for the die. I guess it, it Zeus is down and Alchemist, but Alchemist is going to have his up in just a second. Uh, jump forward here straight on the Nyx Assassin with the Hex. And there is no coming back for that little bug. That's going to be the BKB force from the Dawnbreaker. If but you can see Carl, he's pinging out. They need to kill the Shaman at the start. That's and that's exactly forward. what they're gonna Gabby do. gonna go in onto the Shadow Shaman, and Shadow Shaman is dead. However, it will cost the life of Gabi for it. And now the TA jumps into the base here, looking to go onto Carl, but Carl looking to turn it around. Raging He's potato. gonna be eaten, as now Raging Potato is gonna be eaten alive by Asta. And the TA still standing strong here, now hitting the racks. And the buyback force from the Death Prophet. Gabi has buyback as well. Nyx Assassin back alive. Jumps in here straight onto Asta. Uh, jump forward here by Bog once again. Misses on the stun thanks to the Force Staff. And now with the BKB, Bog has to back off again. Looking for the melee racks, but still not getting that. You still hurt. have your Aegis. Mm -hmm. And we saw there. They pinged. They were like, yeah, we need to kill the Shaman. They killed him. Gabby's just not strong enough to fight to stand oh, in the front line. Oh, just gonna go back into the base here. Bog trying to find Cuckoo here, but Cuckoo will survive. And now Bog getting stunned up here. Raging Potato. They're gonna find this kill onto Bog. That's a dieback on him. And the fear and Asta. onto Asta. Asta trying to survive here, but this, the damage from Carl is just enough here. Raging as now. Potato is in a... Oh, the E-Blade. Nice E-Blade here as now we're gonna find Carl with the Hex from Carlo. The double Serpent Wards making sure that Zeus is dead. Carlo was eyes on the prize there, by the way. The, the, the DP was TPing out in front of him mm -hmm. and he says, no, screw that. I'm killing this Zeus. And did exactly that. So that's no buyback on Carl. They're, they're gonna try and they're fight gonna, still on T1. They're gonna try to go far out here. There's gonna be the stun onto the Chen, Mavis. Uh, unfortunately, Chen doesn't have an escape mechanism there. And well, he you know, you once know, he again they have the Dawnbreaker ultimate, and we have a finished pipe on the Chen as well. So additional magic resistance against that Zeus damage. There's a very nice ward though from T1 that's gonna scout this. Oh, oh, but they found the warlock. The warlock, he's just dead. Gabby still jumps in here trying to go onto Carlo. Carlo gets his BKB off, however, and now Gabby is in the midst of it all. Gabby is just dead. Carlo still alive. 
and Gabi forced to buy back here. Nyx Assassin gonna be controlled by Carlos some more. Asta, though. Asta, in the midst of it all, is gonna be controlled with the Yule Scepter. And now, silenced up and will die. Chen, he is going to die here again. He visit his grave and will fall. Multiple buybacks Start here. favoring T1. So there's a very, there's like this sweet spot window that TNC need to t find kills in. Oh, yeah, but oh. that's the oh, that's a nice kill. Oh, that's Goodbye. A, that's a pretty sweet spot right there. Finding a that's kill a, on that's right. like one of the best possible heroes they could have found. That's a dieback. Yeah. I feel like this, the tier Ooh. two is just not needed. I, I, I like did Meg, you're not you don't need Megas to win this game. Yeah, you can just, just, hit, just going hit the in here with the with the creep wave. And now looking at this ancient, there is still a glyph available. That's going to be the glyph force. That's a refresher. And we're going to try to drop the Serpent Wards. Carlo is going to get them all down. It's going to get bashed up afterwards. Now the alchemist is going to get bashed here by Asta. Uh, but the, the ancient, ancient is just is falling. So this is just GG as the Serpent Wards are just too much. And Carlo. Um, like, for me, MVP of this series. Yeah, I thought Carlo played a, a, a near flawless series. For I, I completely agree, but I think I thought TNC just looked more cohesive mm -hmm. all throughout both game one.